Let me start by saying I believe mothers should be respected. Love, honored, and cherished, most certainly they should be protected. Webster tells us that a mother is a female parent, one who gives birth. But for those of us with a good mom, we know of her even greater worth. She was the one who was always there, knowing just the right time to say yes. Though hated then, we see now that even her nose were meant for our best. In times of hurt, her words captivated our hearts, working what some would call her mommy magic. We see now that it was just grace and love as she helped us through times so tragic. But before we get swept away in a world of fairy tales and myths, we give pause realizing that Mother's Day for all is not a day of joy and bliss. For some people, the thought of Mother's Day causes them to mourn. For this day is one of great pain and suffering, a day where their heart is torn. Divorced, abused, abandoned, words that have left many moms feeling alone as they never settled into their role, trying instead to protect the children in their home. And what about the pain endured by those who could never have a baby, leading them to believe that God's love is at best a maybe. For all you young ladies who long for the great treasure of a new birth, may I speak life into your heart. It is your heart, not your womb, that is the measure of your true worth. The emptiness you feel right now because there is no life within your womb can only be filled by the gospel, not a child, a job, or even a faithful, loving groom. And others of you may be struggling from the fact that you bought the world's distortion. The pain you feel today is rooted in yesterday's abortion. Before we go any further, allow me to speak life where death may reign. Jesus' blood is sufficient to cleanse even the darkest sin stain and to heal the deepest soul's pain. Draw from your past, but don't live there, for to do so will turn your heart to stone. But look to the love of Jesus, a love that on an old rugged cross for the world was shown. On that cross, Jesus commissioned his earthly mom with a very exciting task, one that would change her world and another's. What was it, you ask? Behold, your son, Mary, he spoke concerning the disciple for whom he had a special love. An adoption at a funeral, something so beautiful it could have only been written from above. For all the moms who gained the status not in a hospital but rather in a court of law, we praise God that through adoption you too answered the motherhood call. And finally, for those whose moms are no longer on this earth in sod, we pray that today we'll find you cherishing the moments and mothers given to you by God. Moms, we stand in your honor today. We thank you for all that you've done. May you continue to mom well until you can no longer see the sun. S-U-N. You know the ball of fire that hangs in the sky. May the S-O-N reignite your passion. May you pass it on before you die. May all the hurts and the joys and the pains of your story simply just not be wasted. But may they from your memory be cut and on your children's heart be pasted. Happy Mother's Day, moms. We truly value all your tendencies and yes, even your little quirks. But most of all, we thank you for modeling for us the truth that love truly works.